Hey everybody, it's Kim Hawk, and I'm known as the Fairy Godmother of Real Estate. And my group specializes in a 25 mile radius around this amazing castle. Yes, that's Cinderella's Castle in Central Florida. And today we're going to be talking about one of our favorite towns. It's the town of Celebration Florida, the town that Disney built. Welcome to Celebration Florida. This is the town that Walt Disney World built. Back in 1996, the first residents moved here, and what you're going to see here shortly are restaurants, retail, there's a post office, and there's great design here from architects. So as we take you on this journey, you're going to learn a lot of great tidbits about this great town of Celebration Florida. And in the town center of Celebration of Florida, there's a lovely lake. This is where people will be able to enjoy an ice cream cone as they sit on a rocking chair. Look at the beautiful views. And you know not too far from here, you can see your children playing in the popping fountain, uh, which is absolutely beautiful during the summer months to cool you off. The views here are just spectacular. It looks like a painting. So Celebration Florida was intended initially to be Epcot Center. But the most exciting, the far, the most important part of our Florida project, in fact, the heart of everything we'll be doing in Disney World will be our experimental prototype city of tomorrow. We call it Epcot, spelled E-P-C-O-T, experimental, prototype, community, of tomorrow. Epcot's Green Belt is more than just a broad expanse of beautiful lawns and walks and trees. Here too are the community's varied recreational facilities, its playgrounds for children, its churches, and its schools. Well that never happened before Walt Disney passed away. So there's this genius man by the name of Michael Eisner who was in charge of Disney and he said what are the things that Walt wanted to happen that didn't occur? And one of the ideas was the Epcot portion of people being able to live and be and have their jobs at Epcot. Well, instead of it being at Epcot, it's here at Celebration Florida. And you'll see behind me, he was very specific about his architects. So he picked someone by the name of Robert Stern to design downtown Celebration. What a marvel that we have. He picked five amazing architects. But just realize, this town was actually envisioned by Walt Disney himself. And before the first people moved into Celebration in 1996, they had a lottery. There were over 5,000 people that showed up for the first 350 homes. Can you imagine 5,000 people trying to get into this amazing town? But with Disney, the magic always happens, and it's in big demand. Very much like you see in the Magic Kingdom, there's something called forced perspective. If you walk down the main street in the Magic Kingdom, you'll see that the first floor of the building is taller than the second floor. The second floor is taller than the third floor. And what happens is that your eye plays a trick on you. You believe that the buildings are taller than they are. Well, right here in Celebration Florida, that's what's happening with the downtown lake. The engineers, decided to expand the lake to the left and to the right, and so you just feel like it's much larger than it is. Pretty brilliant, huh? Some of you might be wondering, what does it cost to live in the town of Celebration? Well, there's a couple of great things. There's no state income tax here. And the properties will range anywhere from about $150,000 to $6.3 million. Walt Disney was very adamant about wanting to do things like having alleyways behind the homes here because he didn't want the garages facing forward because what happens? A trash can is left out and it makes it look messy. When you're going through this town, there's other Walt things as well winding roads versus just straight cut roads. And you're going to find lots of amenities, tennis courts, farmers markets. You're going to have playgrounds. He's going to encourage you to get out and about because there's over 50 miles of walking and biking paths around the town of Celebration, Florida. There's
there's a variety of type of properties and one of the examples is the home business district. There's actually 14 homes that are very close to downtown celebration where you can run your business. You can also live in the home. Now this one's exceptional because there's a big talk about where's the hidden Mickey. I'm going to ask you if you see anything on this home that might give that away. And for all of you architect buffs, we understand that this corner is very special. And the reason why it's very special is for zoning reasons. The house behind us is beautiful and it's on one story with a great porch. And if you look down the street, you'll see that the Disney Imagineers were very particular about making sure that this house sits a little bit forward and the next two houses sit a little bit back and the last house on this street sits a little bit forward. That was a design factor. They wanted it to look like it was a bookend. You'll also notice things like the roads are curved. That was a big Disney thing. Walt himself wanted you to feel like you were meandering, you were coming into an area that was blessed, and we certainly are. So from this section as well, you'll see a one-story home. This next corner is a two-story home. Across the street from this place is a commercial place which is the church and then you also have townhouses on this corner. The other big thing about this street if you come to Celebration find Sycamore because this is the street that Robert Stern who was the overall designer of the town said that once it hit the five-year mark and you saw how beautiful the trees were you would see the true beauty of the town of Celebration. This church not only was important to Walt Disney, it was important that his niece, Dorothy Disney, was involved. Here we have a plaque that shows the involvement of the Walt Disney family in the town celebration. So we're presently on Water Street, which is technically the center of the town of Celebration. At the end of the street, you will see the Robert Trent Jones Senior and Junior Golf Course, which is fabulous. But there's a couple of things that a lot of people don't know about the center street, one of which is the Disney Imagineers brought to life an area of Amsterdam. So we have this beautiful canal, beautiful flowers, waterfalls, but here's something interesting too. I wanted to stand here in particular. We were always knowing and wanting to have a wide age range of people that live in this town. And so what the Disney Imagineers did was on a bridge, when you're coming across the bridge for our young people that are on a bicycle, see how it arches up? Well, the idea is they can arch up so they can see if traffic is coming, which will be more safe for our children so they don't go across the street. Now on the other side, it's cut flat. And the idea is that they wanted to make sure if somebody was in a wheelchair on the opposite age, that they were able to pass this beautiful part of town, Water Street in celebration. Let's talk about some other cool things. We have no power lines overhead. How fabulous is that? But it's also important. If a hurricane were to come through this town, which we've had about three or four over the course of 20 years, we've never lost power. So it's been a blessing to us. I believe with Disney, they've thought about everything. We are at the intersection of Long Meadow and Mulberry Street. And one of the beautiful things that the Town of Celebration, the Disney Imagineers did, was they created all these beautiful parks, and we're in the middle of one of them. But what they also did was they traveled quite a bit to see where the best of locations were. The best of America would be Savannah. So around us now, you see an example of Savannah Square. There's places like Charleston, uh, the Key West area. Uh, there's areas that look like um, right outside of Washington, D.C. Once you look really close into this town, you're gonna to be amazed at all the details. And I, for one, love the parks.
As I mentioned, one of my favorite things are the parks that are in celebration. And we're standing here in Longmeadow Park. I was here just recently with a young man that decided that he was going to ask his bride-to-be to marry him here. So it was lined with celebration residents. It was a joyful day. That's a normal day in celebration. Also on the street, there is a house that's fashioned after a Steve Martin movie, and it's this home over here. It was a movie about de Bergerac. So lots of exciting things on the street, nice shade, absolutely gorgeous. And of course with Walt Disney, we're not going to leave out our furry friends. We've got Pluto and Goofy, and of course, they're going to think about a dog spot. So with all these walking paths, they're making available wonderful resources so that your pets feel comfortable as well. There's a dog park in celebration. There's a library. There is so much here, a fire station. It's absolutely amazing to be able to live in this town. And we are on Campus Street, and of course, Disney would think to put their school here. They originally started with the K through 12 school, which is behind me now, and there was a lot of thought that went behind it. 20 years prior to celebration opening, Disney had something called the Teacherific Program. They would go to schools throughout the United States and they would ask for nominations of the best teachers and bring them to Disney for a banquet. Oprah Winfrey would host that banquet and they would ask them, what would you do differently to improve school systems? And guess what? When we opened in 1996, there was a group called Ground Zero and Ground Zero took all of that information and it wasn't just any Ground Zero. It was Harvard University, John Hopkins, Stetson, Auburn. We had amazing programs and still we do. My daughter was five when we first moved here. She went through the whole school program and I can tell you it exceeded all of my expectations. We love our teachers and we love our school. We're only 10 minutes away from the furthest gate, which is the Magic Kingdom. There's an amazing hospital here. It's by Advent Health, and you will drive past it and think that it's a resort. So as we turn the camera around, they make it snow here the day after Thanksgiving up until right after the 1st of January. Snow in Florida? Are you kidding me? Yes, they make it snow. They have Disney carolers that are singing a cappella. They have an ice skating rink. This is the town. We're so glad that you joined us today because we'd love to see you in the town of Celebration Florida.